the name of the company is First Wind, but you know, the, the energy complex takes a lot of creative solutions. Solar is solving a problem and it's doing it in a cost-effective way. When we came across the opportunities in Millbury and Warren for, to do projects there, we were extremely excited. It met the profiles of our, our siting profiles, which was strong community support and a small environmental footprint. Yeah, there are approximately 13,000 panels being put up on this site. The panels contain silicon wafers, and when sunlight hits those wafers, some of the energy is converted into heat, but another big portion of it's actually converted to electricity. Solar is making a lot more sense uh, these days. You know, the cost of solar power at a, on a utility scale has come down 65% in the last three or four years. The states that welcome and support renewable energy projects benefit in a number of ways. They're satisfying the demand for clean, renewable power, but they're also property tax that didn't exist before, and more importantly, they're giving rise to entire new industries. In Millbury, we're actually going to donate parcels of land at the edge of our property, which abut conservation land owned by the town, to supplement that conservation. We're going to be in these communities for 20, 30 years, and, we, and issues are going to come up. We have to develop a partnership with communities, and that's the, to me, that's the formula for success. Suddenly, the town members kind of find themselves with a certain pride of place at being on the cutting edge of sustainability. And we've seen that in wind, and we're already seeing it in solar. This is absolutely just a beginning for solar uh, by first wind. We'd like to save our environment for our kids, grandkids, generations to come. We believe that the solar business, as a business model, is going to be here for a long, long time. And first wind absolutely wants to be part of that. Mm -hmm.